Yo, Space City Brothers podcast. What it is, folks? On a beautiful Sunday, Houston afternoon. Yeah, it's, it's chilly. chilly as fuck, bruh. The I birds am. are chirping. Cold the, the sun is out. Nary a cloud. You know what sucks about days like this in the early beginning of the year is that the shit can go away by like five forty-five. You only get like a good few hours to enjoy your day at like peak optimal. What like, you mean, the sun? Yeah, it's gonna the sun's gonna go down at like five o'clock. Yeah, but I mean, don't if, if you don't get up at o'clock. fucking noon, then I mean, but like have, the best time I've to be seen, outside. Is, I've been looking at the the fucking cl- the sky all day with the window open. We should we should learn how to camp. Get up camping. like a hot. You need to get up like a hot blooded American. Did you just call me a racist? I said a hot blooded American. Uh, those aren't racist? No. Uh. I, I, you know what? I'm not into camping just because. Camping's fun. I feel like it's a lot of work to not actually gain anything. I need results. I mean, like camping, you just do it because you like it. There's no result. It's just like I went there, I camped, and I made it home alive. I mean, you can do some dope shit. You don't have to just go there. You can go camping and go fishing. Well, I'll just go fishing. I knew you was gonna say that. I knew. I knew as soon as I let that out of my mouth, I would just go go fishing. Yeah. Why would I? Why would I force myself to live in nature where I could just go fishing in the day and then come home and be able to watch? Uh, Frazier for the fifth time because um, you need to prepare yourself for the zombie apocalypse. Nah, we gotta, we gotta prepare ourselves for the zombie apocalypse. You don't have to camp, or, you or, just gotta be in somebody, you just gotta find a house and make sure there's nobody else alive in it <laughs> or nobody dead. Or, okay, well, we have to be ready for the Russians. What if the Russians? Decided that they, they, they couldn't see this Donald Trump shit through and they just come through early and just... Well, they're not going to get all the way to Texas. Oh, no, they're definitely going to get to there's, Texas. There's no way they could get to Texas. They knocking. They knocking. Wherever the we were, are, they if knocking we were on, first. If we were on one of the coasts, then it's a problem. But you're not going to get all the way to Texas. <laughs> now, if like a giant, a giant army of people came from like Mexico, then we're fucked. Oh yeah, we're fucked. They were definitely fucked because you can't just like you you know you can't just throw nukes out there unless they're like in the middle of the desert or some shit. But you can't just throw nukes at that. It's like you gotta send personnel. You gotta meet that with boots on the ground. Then we're fucked. <laughs> but if it's ground. the Russians, where are they gonna they gotta come from one of the coasts or Canada? Oh yeah, I forget that Russia's right next to Alaska. Yeah. So other this than, world is not that big. Well. Let me see. That's like an eight-hour <laughs> flight from Alaska to Russia. That's what Sarah Palin kept saying. She could look out her backyard and see fucking Russia. And she was full like of that, shit. Like, that was such a great fucking... <laughs> she was full of shit. Realistic world map. So, you know, I'll be watching that uh that show, 90 Day Fiance, on uh, TLC and shit. No, I did not know this. Well, I watched the fuck out of the show. The show's amazing. Uh, I think... Huh. I got to so they had this they had a couple up there it was this white boy from america and there was this uh girl from russia and they was having a baby so the boy went over to the boy complete trash ass nigga he didn't he didn't go visit the girl till like two days before she was supposed to give birth (laughs) what kind of lame ass nigga anyways that's not the part she lived in russia so he went over to visit russia russia is a shitty looking country well uh uh, La- well, Alaska is close to Russia, but that's not America. That's what I'm not. That's not. I mean, it's the United States, but that's not America. How do we? That's, how do we take Alaska from Canada? I have no idea. Like, <laughs> how no does that idea. Work? It was like the last. <laughs> it was what? It's only since what, like 1951? I guess I don't fucking know. Let me see. State of Alaska. This probably was the last state to come into the fucking. It was either Alaska or Hawaii. We stole whichever one of those states. We stole both. Well, we stole both of them. Bro. <laughs> yeah, we stole both of them. I mean, like, whichever one we stole the last. 
I think it was Hawaii is the 50th state. Uh, the United States purchased Alaska from the Russian Empire March 30th, 1867 <laughs> for $7.2 million. That's it? The biggest game, that shit away for, that's basically, that's like buying it, that's like buying a grand for five bucks. Two cents per acre. That's crazy. We got, we got Russia for, for oh, a crackhead it, price. They bought it in 1967. It's been a, it was like. A bunch of administrative changes and it became a territory in 1912 it was admitted as the 49th state in 1959 so that they it was already under control it, but it wasn't I ratified as a state i should get that shit to us for a crackhead price dog let me find out they well, just that was all that, that was shit. russian empire so that was mm. like still though i think that was like all the the terribles and shit <laughs> Still, they get that shit up for coke bag price. The House of Romanov. I mean, it's not like we use Alaska for anything, anyways. Let me see oil. oil. Uh, Alex, I I guess this was during Alexander the uh, Second emancipation of all twenty three million serfs, uh, protecting the Orthodox Christians under the Ottoman under rule of the Ottoman Empire. Uh. Led Russian entry is the First World War on the side of France, the UK, the and Serbia against the German, Australia, Austrian, and Ottoman Empire. See, Russia wasn't even. That's just a weird, it's a weird decision to make. <laughs> I told you, nigga, that's a that's a drug price. <laughs> well, that's Russia, them well, that's, need oil. That's what seven million eighteen some. So that's got to be like. I don't know what, like a hundred plus million. Oh yeah, that's eighteen something. If not a, a billion, but I mean, still, like you could just buy a whole piece. That I mean, you could our turn whole country a was country. worth uh, way more than that at that point. Yeah. We weren't even in debt like we are now. I don't think we were in debt at all for that shit. <sighs> when was when was the first World War? Nineteen, yeah, nineteen oh one, I think. No, it wasn't oh one. Wasn't it was it was like nineteen hundred. It was like nineteen twelve. The first world war. World. Nineteen fourteen. Oh okay. I'm bugging. My times is my times is wrong. Yeah, it wasn't no nineteen oh one. Hell no, nah. that was like fucking. What was I? What game I was playing? I was playing some game. It's probably Red Dead. <laughs> I was watching the video explaining Red Dead. Yeah, that would be and Red it, Dead because Red Dead is like eighteen ninety something or eighty Red, something. Red Dead, the original Red Dead is later is nineteen something, and the first Red Dead is like eighteen ninety nine. So like, that's crazy to think fourteen years later there's fucking World War One happens. I don't understand why they went back in time for Red Dead Redemption too. It's like you had Red Dead Redemption, but then they go back in time. I mean, I probably would have been a dope DLC. I mean, it was cool for the story that they did. It was great being Arthur. It sucks, but it was great being Arthur. And uh, I can't wait to see what happens with the DLC they're gonna drop. I I just don't like that. There's no 1911 in the game. Cause that that's. <laughs> It's like that. That would have just been the only handgun I used. There is a nineteen eleven. Well, in no. the in not in this this one. There's not. No, it's only a Red Dead Redemption. It's only a Red Dead but Redemption. That's a later game. Yeah, I mean, it's like later. It's, it's later. later. <laughs> it's earlier and later at the same time. It's, it's later in. It's later chronologically. I I was hoping that they, but it's probably a far fucking stretch that they was gonna they was gonna uh like just slowly start remaking the first game. <laughs> <laughs> putting it out as DLC. It's like you play the first half of the game to find Dutch and shit. I was I kinda was hoping to play as the son too. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I thought you was gonna play as uh what's his name? Jack. Jack. Yeah, I thought you was, I that thought it was gonna be like him getting into shit. His old bitch ass. Ugh, that nigga. Ugh. Well, just, uh, how far are you in the game are you? I don't wanna ruin this shit. Well, I haven't touched it in months at this point. Uh, Whenever it came out I don't remember playing it in December. I don't remember playing the Thanksgiving, so I haven't touched it since maybe Damn. November. I finally made it all the way through the game. The epilogue. You really, you really want to get to the epilogue. Well, I'm way far from that. Yeah. Super far from I'm probably, that. I'm probably going to go back and play through it again. I like the story. So I have, 
I have SAD, but instead of seasonal affective disorder, I have seasonal annoyed at every goddamn thing disorder. <laughs> Just everything annoys me. Freaking one person, so I work one person on one side plays their music <laughs> plays their music in their headphones but they don't have i don't know if they just have crappy headphones or they don't have them in all the way but i can hear it yeah and then the person on the other side hasn't uh hasn't muted the uh the instant messaging system we use so i just hear it going off all day on our computer because we like all of us that were there we muted it so you like every time yeah. somebody send you a message everybody don't hear the ding yeah but she hasn't done that so i hear it all day long ding, ding. and i'm just like i just i'll just be waiting because they they leave earlier than i do since my shift is longer so i just be waiting for them all to leave and then it's like ah peace peace and quiet yeah <laughs> ding ding no it's like bonk, bonk. Like fucking IM messages and shit. It's like a it's like a quiet honk. All goddamn day. This shit is annoying as hell. You a AKA nigga? Why you got pink and green on your bed? First of all, that's peach. <laughs> Whatever. That's not pink. <laughs> that's pink. That is peach. You're wearing pink. What are you talking about? Oh, the hat. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot. That's this pink. Hat this is peach. Whatever. There's a difference. There is a difference. This peach. <laughs> no, <whatever. laughs> this is fucking peach. This got an AKA bed. <laughs> no, and that's that's one pillow. That's all. If I uh, shit, that's all you need. Is if, one I'm, if I'm, if I'm, I'm saying it's coincidentally green. I, I always buy stuff green. Fucking Xbox. <laughs> fucking green shoes. That's fucking peach. That's not pink. You're wearing pink. <laughs> all right, skip. <laughs> See, I offended Yo, AKA's you... last podcast, and you proceeded to double down on offending AKA. Yo, did you podcast. see that that article uh, with the with the white lady? I only caught a glimpse of it because it was so stupid. Uh-huh. But I guess some 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 lady had won a, a, a judge or mayoral seat somewhere in the city. And she was a she's an AKA, so her little sisters and shit at the it was at the meeting doing you know how they do their little call sign, and the white lady writes, "I ain't never heard so many black women screech before." <laughs> I was rolling, I was rolling, I was kind of like, oh, "That's fucked up," but at the same time, it's just like white people really don't know shit about black people, yo. I gonna be like, I've never heard so many women screech at at one time. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I don't think that was appropriate to do while she getting sworn in. Bro, shit. you know what I'm talking about, this? Yeah. No, I didn't yeah. see it, but it's like. <laughs> she said if, she was if, an AKA. Excuse me. If, if they did it. Excuse me, If they Excuse did it while she was getting sworn in, that's yeah. very unnecessary. Y'all could have just Excuse been there. Excuse me, boop, boop, boop. You know, you can't let, you can't let frats and sororities just, they can't just chill. As soon as they say somebody mentions some frat, is Excuse Excuse me. I'm just ruining the quality of this podcast. <laughs> look at this fucking, look at this pigs and shit. Skew. Just roll. And then you scat. You re- <laughs> you gonna get jumped by some? I'm gonna get jumped. <laughs> They go fucking. What's that shit you was talking about? Make, <laughs> nah, make make the little noise again, nigga. You go, <laughs> you go, you go walk out. You gonna walk out of work one day, and they just gonna be. It's just gonna be like a giant group of them, like the Warriors, bro. And Pinky Green and it's gonna, fucking. This gonna be a line of Nissan Altimus. It's gonna be like when the. It's gonna be like at the end of the Warriors when all the riffs showed up on the beach, <laughs> and they were just surrounded by the riffs, and they didn't know if they was about to get. Uh, if they was about to get killed. <laughs> or if the wrist about to get the uh, who was the who was the bad guys? What was that game? Who cares? I, I, don't I remember. Yeah. But yeah, they gonna be standing there like the ribs. They gonna be it's gonna be one shorty with like some big ass aviators. Ski <laughs> ski. We like veins in her neck yeah. and shit. Let me like <laughs> make the sound again, nigga. <laughs> hey, you Tevin? Uh, nah. <laughs> yeah, we know who the fuck you are. <laughs> hey, you know who he is? I seem like y'all a bunch of AKAs. Hey, yeah, I heard the little joke you made on the little podcast you got, nigga. Do the sound again, nigga. 
<laughs> be like, huh? what? Like, do, do the, the sound, sound again, again nigga. nigga. And I'll be like, ah, right, nah, that was the other guy. Nah, we got the other nigga in the car. Yeah, that's him over there. Fuck, nah, Walter. <laughs> they, not gonna, they not gonna get me. I, I'm not. No, nah, you gonna turn me in, nigga. I'm not getting got. They be like, they <laughs> gonna ring. They gonna ring my doorbell. <laughs> I'm a, look, look. I'm gonna go get my key. I'm gonna open the closet. I'm gonna open the gun safe, and then I'm gonna step outside the door. It's like, hi, how y'all? Do, how y'all doing? <laughs> We looking for the little nigga who made the sound and shit. They gonna be like, oh, uh, I'm sorry for disturbing you at your house at this time. I'll be like, yeah, I thought so. God damn it. Make the sound again, nigga. Scoop. Scoop. I don't, I don't think that's appropriate. Make the sound again, nigga. Scoop. <laughs> then they gonna pull out. They gonna all pull out like a, a switchblade. <laughs> Oh. Nah, it's twenty. It's twenty nine. I was about to say twenty. It's twenty nineteen. They all gonna have tasers. Tasers, yeah. <laughs> tasers on the back of their phone, back on their iPhone eights, X's or whatever, with a picture of their son Caden on it. So you really? Just <laughs> I'm just talking. You just tripling down on this, huh? Uh, who cares? They're not gonna do that. All right. Well, I'll go ahead. I'll be more afraid of deltas. And I'll Iowa. go ahead and put. I'll go ahead and uh, write up a Craigslist ass for a new podcast host <laughs> after you're murdered by a bunch of AKAs. I look. If it was deltas, I'd be a lot more afraid. If it's AKA. Like, you still going? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not too worried about AKA. You're still going. Let me, do, do, let me know when you're done offending the AKAs gonna, even more. We're gonna do choke me with the extensions. <laughs> Scratch my eyes out with the clip on nails. Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> Give you, me a court summons. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop. That's my oh, last one. Oh, you're not one. done? <laughs> that's my last one. Are you sure? That's, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because as soon as I start talking, you're gonna say something else. I'm done. That's my last one. Uh, So, uh, Michael J. White. <laughs> I was wondering, because after the Bing Rains thing, I was like, "Dang, is Michael J. White okay? I haven't seen him in, I haven't seen him around in a while." Looked him up, I think on YouTube. No, this nigga is still in fantastic shape. Bro, that nigga is <laughs> still in fantastic. This is doing YouTube videos on like martial arts instructions and shit. Right, we need to watch that. But just, just but, that nigga. but. Just, it's like with his phone on like a stand, and he's just and he does. You know, you know, what he needs he needs a, a straight up camera setup with like ring lights. You would think that nigga make enough money, he can do that shit. It's not. It's not that. Can he? Is if he, if it is if he considered bothering to do it. Like you know, if he if he just like just got up one day, it's like you know, I should I should you know record this with my phone. And and upload it. It's like you know you could do all right just having your phone, but it's like you could he could have like some real production value behind it if he got like a camera and a tripod and a good a good boom mic and yeah. maybe maybe so, you know some a couple of niggas running behind the scenes camera, a good editor and shit. Yeah, some uh some warm lights and shit. He don't even really need it. like it could just be one long. He could just have an intro, the video straight through. In the outro, a couple of niggas behind him to demonstrate on and shit. I think he, I think that'd be kind of dope. I, I think, think he could have celebrities like like how uh Lisa, uh, I say her name wrong. Um, Will Smith wife, I can't think of her name. Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett. Oh my god, she how, got she got a show show. Though. That's what I'm saying though. He can make but, it into like a whole little thing. He bring in certain celebrities and teach them, you know, maneuvers and you learn or and have, they learn or and, have somebody else come like fucking. Chuck Liddell or yeah. fucking other fighters, Floyd Mayweather come in one day. Yeah, this stuff. Mm, that'd be dope. Look, we giving have, away free ideas. Have sponsors. Well, we're not famous or martial artists, so we can't do either. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I want. I want to have like credit. fucking Reebok sponsoring that shit or something. Hell yeah! But uh, I, I want but the bro, Reebok I, He show. I was like, oh, it's Michael J. White YouTube page. It is like this dude. <laughs> Just shirtless with his with his abs and chest hanging. I was like, "Well, shit, he." <laughs> now, what you want to do is that's Michael. That's my Michael J. White. He's not like he's not out of shape. Man. No, that <laughs> is doing just fine. Whenever you need a black guy to to be a villain, Michael J. White is there. I'm like, yeah, this nigga is just fine. Now I'm gonna teach you how to throw a punch. Okay, you with me? Bring it back. Throw but he, it forward. but he was, and he was doing like, uh, 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 uh. like on that, on the one I saw, he was like, you know, how to prop, like the uh, breaking down, like the musculature of uh, forming a fist and shit, and like the, the 
the karate history of it, I was like, oh, shit, like, this ain't fine. I don't know why I'm worried about him. I don't know why I'm worried about him. He's straight as hell. It's like, whoa. Oh, well, well. shit. Oh, man. So, uh, What's bro, the last good movie Michael J. White's been in? I don't know. He, he needs a lot more role. A lot of his movies been kind of like straight to DVDs. And he's shit, way bro. more low key. Yeah, he needs a lot better movie roles. Let's see. Is he a good actor? Uh, hmm. That's they need to put him question. in the Fast Five. That's a good question. Fast and the Furious. Yeah, he could do that. Like if Tyrese get a spinoff, which I doubt. <laughs> no, that's dead. That's so dead. If there was any chance for Tyrese to get his that's own little, it was dead when he started fighting with the Rock. That is hella dead. <laughs> and 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 John and, and state them. It's like nigga, don't nobody give a fuck about a Tyrese backstory. He's been on. Uh, he's been on Arrow. It says eight. Yeah, he eight was. Episodes. He's Tiger. He plays Tiger. Bronze Tiger. Yeah. Uh, TV movie, TV series, The Family Business. That's a Tyler Perry joint. Uh, Dragged Across Concrete, Making a Killing, Accident Man, Cops and Rogers, Chocolate City, Vegas, Swipe Under on Siege. Chocolate City, yeah. Uh, yeah, he, oh, he did do that, uh, that, that, uh, little short scene on, uh, Insecure, the dude North. I think he was the one that was oh, like, yeah. I hate slavery. <laughs> I hate slavery, yeah. <laughs> Somebody pushed him over. He had, he only had one leg. I hate you, slavery. Uh, the Asian Connection, Beyond the Game, Vigilante Diaries, Chain of Command, Chocolate City. Uh, he had the Black Dynamite TV series. That was 2011 to 2015. They supposed to be making a second movie. He was on For Better or For Worse. That sounds like a tie probably for him. I think it is because he was Marcus Williams. Yeah, that's, that's Tyler Perry. Yeah. Let's see what's, who's on this cover. Uh, it don't look like anybody from the movies either. It's just him and the, uh, what's her name? The girl, yeah. The lady. Skin Trade, Falcon Rising, Android Cop. <laughs> this don't sound terrible. Metal Herland Chronicles, Feds, uh, The Philly Kid, Freaky Deaky, We The Party, uh, Tactical Force, he was in Mortal Kombat Legacy, which I've said before. Never back down to the beat down. One Angry Juror. Uh, what the hell is Mortal Kombat Rebirth? The the terrible Mortal Kombat movie. They the, made. I think he played Jax in that movie. Yeah. I, what? Then what was? Which is the one I saw that was on YouTube? Was that Rebirth or Legacy? It doesn't matter. <laughs> They're both terrible. You think it'd be either one, honestly. All right. Uh, <laughs> and then why did I get married to Blood and Bone, Black Dynamite, Dark Knight, The Legend Dynamite. of Bruce Lee? He was in Dark Knight. Yeah, he was the one that got. Uh, oh yeah, he, he was, was like a, the black crime boss. Yeah, he got killed first. I think. Then they shove a pistol in his ear. No, I think that was one of the guys they sent. Uh, Over there, I don't think he was the one. No, they he, killed him too. But he was the black crime boss. Yeah, they murdered him too. Let me see, Michael J. Uh, Dark Knight. Uh, I'm skipping through the scene. Oh, he had the knife to his face about, uh... Oh, yeah, he was like, you want to know how I got these scars? Yeah, he wasn't the one he killed. Mm. Yeah, uh, he doesn't have that much that's like... That's how I think he just does just all action movies, but I don't think anyone have been that big. Unfortunately. Silverhawk. That just pissed Justice, me off. Justice, Pandora's Box. You could have got a Red Hood character. In the I feel like game. I've seen Exit Wounds. Exit Wounds with DMX. Isn't that the one with Steven Seagal? Yeah. <sighs> I don't think that movie's ter- good. <laughs> ter- I'm terrible. Sure DMX had a, had a good run of movies, though. He had, he had uh, what? Romeo Must Die. Romeo Must Die. He had Exit Wounds. Exit Wounds. He had that one... He had that one movie where he had that loft. I can't think of the name of that shit, though. Let's go through DMX IMDb. 
Yeah, Michael Jai. I think Michael Jai has just done a bunch of action movies. Yeah, but always they, done the action. They, they, that, he's uh, he's not dramedies. He's not broken into like a list. No. It's like I mean, he does he does a I whole could, bunch of. If I could, but he's like C list maybe. It's like if you you know him when you see him, but I it's, think he's but he's it's a C list actor, but like a high B celebrity. Yeah, it's, you know when you see him, but yeah. he hasn't done. But you're not gonna go home and watch none of his. He doesn't movies. have like blockbusters. Yeah, he hasn't yeah. managed to. have The most you do is probably just go on YouTube and watch his his fight scene. Uh, filmography. He's in he never filmography. back down two and three. Yeah, he said never back down two for sure. Yeah. Uh, DMS Romeo must he's barely Romeo mm. must die backstage exit wounds. Angel one more road to cross. Cradle to the grave. Cradle to the grave. And never die alone. And then he has Father Lies, Death Toll, Last Hour, Lords of the Street, Lock Dog, The Bleeding, King Dog, Blame It on a Hustle, and then Top 5. I don't know what uh, any of those but, last ones were. But, but 06 to 2013 were all direct to DVD. Okay, so like what? Uh, Romeo Must Die? After Never Die Alone, then it was direct to DVD to Top 5. Oh, okay. Damn, you know, harder working actor than motherfucking Ice Cube. In his little nineties run, yeah, but Ice, Ice Cube was a part of a lot of like. But Ice Cube was producing. He was acting was, in some movies too. He was in Anaconda. He was yeah, in but Three Ice Kings. Cube, yeah, he was also producing and writing movies at the same time. Yeah, but I'm just saying he had a just just as good as a run though. Mm, no, Ice Cube had. I mean, Ice Cube had some Ice bangers. Cube's Ice Cube's movies are definitely better than DMX's movies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Let's, we, let's not even compare. I'm not it, saying that Ice Cube got him blown out. I'm saying he, he ain't nobody trying to be like, hey, bro, we need to watch Exit Wounds. <laughs> Yo, I say, bro, have you have you seen Cradle to the Grave? Have you seen Cradle to let the me, Grave? Let me nigga? tell you about the artistic masterpiece that is Cradle to the. No, the only movie I probably watch is Romeo Must Die, and that's for Leah and Jet Li, and that's it. I'm I'm be honest with you. I I I remember that I've seen it. I have no idea what happens in that movie. So the only and there's no I have never found a reason to ever go back to that movie. <laughs> the only thing I remember from that movie that stands out the most is the song where he did with Cisco. Tell me what you want. I ain't got you want. You see it, nigga. <laughs> like me. That's the only thing that sticks out. And that one part where I think Jet Li jumps jumps over a car. I miss Jet Li. I have no memory of that shit. <laughs> no memory of that shit. I miss Jet I remember, Lee. I remember just seeing the people's faces in random ways, like three random ways. I have mm. no idea what happened in that movie. Didn't Romeo? Didn't didn't Jet Li and, and DMX fight in that movie? We on a tangent. Yeah, of course they did. <laughs> we on a tangent. And that and Cradle to the Grave. He was in Cradle to the Grave too, with Jet Li. Yeah, that was Jet Li got a lot of movies. Cause Cradle to the Grave was like Jet Li was like an Interpol agent or something, and then DMX and his crew were like bank robbers. I think I remember. And it was, and then it was something about like black diamonds. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And they were trying to sell the black diamonds, but the black diamonds were like, were were like bombs, or they could be weaponized or some some weirdo shit like that. I don't know these niggas who, who be making these movies. All these movies sound like like coke up coke filled weekend movies. Uh, like, you know what's yeah, going to sell? It, it says, DMX. Realizing that Lean will want to auction off the stones, which are actually weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, <laughs> stupid ass shit. That's stupid ass shit. <laughs> oh my god! In movie world, everybody uh, government is just incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh we gonna have weapons we gonna have these stones but they're not really diamonds they weapons of mass destruction <laughs> and they gonna get stolen by niggas from Baltimore <laughs> yeah I had no idea why. these niggas from DC for the still multi million dollar billion dollar stones that are they, actually what they weapons definitely, they definitely went way <laughs> way, way left. beyond <laughs> I'm telling you brother way. he my boy took my boy way did some lines. Me. My boy did some lines and bang out that last part of that, that script. Like, yo, yo, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? The weapons, oh, like, plot twist. The weapons is actually like the, the, the diamonds, diamonds is, is actually a, a, a super compressed atom <laughs> that when you split it has more power than a hydrogen bomb. Are you a coke? 
A little bit. <laughs> get out of my office. Leave the script, but get no, out. No, of my are office. you are you a coke? Why do you have any? <laughs> <laughs> Look, pulls a baggie from my from underneath the, behind the desk. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nah, it's not even a bag. Right, it's it's a, grave too. Nah, it's not even a bag. It's a jar, <laughs> <laughs> like a like a bar, like a M and M jar, like a mason jar. Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, ah, uh, uh. like, coke what? buddies. Like, why do you have a jar of cocaine? Okay, do, do you do you really care? Do you want some? <laughs> I, I want some. Oh man! Uh, <laughs> Last two pages, right here, buddy. <laughs> and DMX, done. DMX, and Jet Li fight, but then they become friends, right? And it's raining, <laughs> and, it, and 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 the airport's on fire, and so ring of fire, so neither of them can leave. <laughs> and we got we have Chinese diplomats and Russian diplomats, and we got the what Irish mob. <laughs> I have no idea why that movie. this movie. Will be awesome. Let me tell you, my dad also took us to the theater to see that. <laughs> that that and uh whatever's the movie that was the Steven Seagal one. Exit Woods. Yeah, he th- he also took us to the theater to see Exit Woods. Remember when John Rule was in the movie? I don't even remember. Yeah, uh, was Steven Seagal too. <laughs> what John Rule movie was that? Oh, my was that Exit that. Wounds? No, it wasn't Exit Wounds. I don't remember a John Rule movie. Uh, he was in, he was in the Steven Seagal movie too. Oh shit, John ja Rule got an ass lot of movies. <laughs> Bro, niggas was in at least two movies. Bro, being year. a rapper in the nineties was in the early two thousands was real good. Ja Rule was in the Fast and the Furious. Yeah, he was in, he was in the Fast and the Furious. He was racing in one of the cars. Uh, it's murder. Let's go! Backstage, half past dead. Yep, this is it. Produced by Steven Seagal, who also starred as the lead role. Let me find out how the Steven Seagal movies were produced by Steven Seagal. Just had his big ass. What the fuck is this? I've never seen it. <laughs> I it remember. got Morris Chestnut in it. What was it? It was a it was a prison movie. Morris Chestnut is the bad guy. Nia Peoples. What the fuck is this movie? <clears throat> Morris Chestnut was the bad guy. And... And and on, Seagal me, was a. Hold on, I'm gonna read the synopsis. The okay, uh, it's a twenty two thousand two American action film written directed by Don Michael Paul in his directional debut and produced by Steven Seagal, who also starred in a leading role alongside Andrew <laughs> Stevens in El Samaha. The film quote stars Morris Chestnut, Ja Rule, Tony Plana, Corrupt. <laughs> Corrupt was in the movie too And yeah. Neil Peoples The film tells the story of a criminal Who infiltrates a prison to interrogate a prisoner About the location of a fortune In gold Why an undercover FBI agent has to stop him I think I, Morris Chestnut Morris Chestnut good. broke into the, To the prison I forgot who he was interrogating and I think Cigar was the <laughs> the FBI agent. Another coke filled uh, script. <laughs> he was just anybody who did drugs and had a script. And Steven Cigar is Sasha Petrovich, Petrovich, Petrovich. Uh, I, I'm not getting that right. For who gives sure. a fuck? Is a Russian car thief who's brought in by criminal Nick Fraser. To work for crime boss Sony Ekval, Richard Bremer, who apparently shot and killed Sasha's wife. After some time, FBI special agent Ellen E.Z. Williams and her team show up to nail Nick, but things go bad. Sasha gets shot. Uh, eight months recovery. He was ruled clinically dead, is incarcerated along with Nick in newly reopened Alcatraz prison. Oh, yeah, Alcatraz had opened back up. Yeah, uh. And they be like all this high tech shit to it and shit. Yeah, I'm not even gonna read the rest of this Get shit. Get the fuck out of here, it just dog. Sounds bad. That shit was terrible, bro. That sounds bad. That shit was terrible. You know what nigga was like? You know who this movie needs? Ja Rule. <laughs> hey, Ja, baby. We want you to read for the part of the inmate number 23. But Ja Rule it was in like hold on, let me count these houses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> oh my god. That's what we need to do. He's in like he's in like thirty movies. 
<laughs> she was like, yo, we it's did a, Ja Rule 30 well, some, times. Some of these aren't movie movies. Like, one is Beef, one is Backstage, one is just Mad TV. <laughs> so, I, I guess it's just it's like TV and shows. This ain't just straight just up movie. Just straight movie. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> ja Rule was in Half Past Dead, Pauly Shore is Dead, Scary Movie Never 3. Was he, what part was he in Scary, scary Movie It 3? says Agent Thompson. I don't fucking remember. Um, I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, Assault on Precinct 13. I remember that one. I've only seen that movie once. It's not that good. I didn't even see. I, well, ain't Lawrence Fishburne in that movie? Yeah. South Beach, Furnace, uh, The Cookout 2. There's a cookout too. <laughs> of course, there's, there's a, a cookout. There's too. a cookout too. Who did I? Did I go see that with you? I hope not. Cause that movie was ass, nigga. Mm. Movie was so unfunny. Oh god, who was like, you know what we need? That was a two, cookout too. That was 2004. I'm pretty sure I saw that with you. No, you better not. Have. <laughs> what was we talking about? That was middle oh, school. I'm pretty sure. Talking about bringing back the early 2000s, really? I'm pretty sure I saw that movie with you. Really, the cookout too. If this is if the cookout too was wasn't made he now, it in the cookout? Who? Ja Rule. Because wasn't he the one? He was like the jealous dude at the park, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm the." He's like, "You see how he shoot that ball? I told him he got. I'm the one who told him he got oh, to yeah. spread his fingers yeah, on the yeah, ball." Yeah. So he gets, I remember that part. Hey, wasn't he gonna try to rob the nigga or some shit like that? Or, or he was just yeah, Ja Rule was in it, but it's not on Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm, nobody wants to. Oh no! I, I, you know what? I looked over it. <laughs> I was about to say no. It was right that. after Scary Movie Three. <laughs> you, you know what? I had uh, what happened is that I had like the miles over Scary Movie Three, and it, it uh, brought like a square, so I just skipped all this stuff that was after it. Uh, cookout and the Cookout Two. Once upon a time in Brooklyn, but it just says post productions. Uh, they put first take on here the under his ESPN filmography. Show? Yeah. Under his filmography, mm, the fucking mm, mm. they made a cook the cookout too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw that movie. Some with nigga you. was like, you know what we need, bro? Where was Ja Rule in Scary Movie Three? The what happened? Cookout too, bro. What happened in Scary Movie Three? She got Liam Neeson too, bro. Isn't Scary Movie Three the one with the aliens? No, that's Scary Movie Four. What's Scary Movie Three? I don't, I don't remember who's in Scary Movie It has 3. Leslie Nielsen. I don't remember this movie. Was Scary Movie 3 the one where they had, it was like the village and shit? Uh, yeah. I don't, man, that's the Scary Movie 2. Who cares? Uh. Scary Movie 2 is the best Scary Movie. It's about crop circles. Oh, that's the alien one. Crop circles, uh, the ring. I think Regina Hill's kid. Yeah, Regina Hill's character gets killed in that one. Yeah, Widower, uh, Charlie Sheen, his clumsy brother George discover a crop circle saying attack here. So yeah, that was Alien. So that was War of the Worlds. Yeah. Let's see, Parodies. Parodies, The Ring, Signs, The Matrix, Malibu's Most Wanted, The Matrix Reloaded, 8 Mile. I remember that. Uh, Minority Report. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what they did about Minority Report. Basketball, The Lord of the Rings, Six Cents, The Others, Pootie Tang, Airplane, Air Force One, and Invasion of the Body Snatcher series. Yeah, okay, I remember that one. <clears throat> I definitely do not remember Scary Movie. Like I said. Oh, you know what? Scary Movie 3 is where Cindy is like like a, a a babysitter or a teacher or something. Some stupid shit. And then she like falls in love with like Charlie Sheen's character. And yeah. She's no, like... no. Was, was it Charlie Sheen's character or was it the son? Remember he had a son. I thought it was with the character because then the son was Oh, like... the brother. The brother. Because remember the brother tried to take it to a, a rap battle. Okay, so maybe it was the brother. Yeah. And then, like, he had a, he had, like, a, Charlie Singh had a son. And Pat Joe was in there. Charlie Singh had a son. He was trying to play catch one. He kept, like, hitting him in the face. In the face. And then, like, oh, was she a real estate agent? I don't know. I've seen all the scary movies, so. Uh, I stopped caring about the scary movie, too. Scary movie 4 came, and they was, they was talking about the, the, the Wicked Man and shit. I was like, nah, I don't care. The what? What, what movie was it? The one M. Night Shyamalan had made. 
Who gives a fuck? Anyways, what's the next thing? Hold on. Now, now I gotta see what was Scary Movie 4. This nigga here. Oh, <laughs> no, who cares? Scary, scary Movie 4 was War of the Worlds and Saw. So Scary Movie 3 was just signs where, like, the aliens had showed up in his house. I don't, and then they, like, beat up one with a bat and shit. Oh, and one of them was Michael Jackson. Yeah. What stupid ass shit. I don't think Regina Hall was in. No, she was in Scary yeah, Movie she 4. She was in Scary Movie 3. She was, she was in the last one she was in was the one with, with the one with rings. No, she was in Scary Movie. She was in Scary Movie 4. Yeah, the one with the ring. No, the ring was Scary Movie 3. Oh. Scary Movie 4 was like The Grudge. The Grudge. That's what I'm thinking of. Let's see, stars. Yeah, it's Kevin Hart. No. Wow, we really gone. <laughs> Yeah, if we if gone way off the rails. Yeah, if they had like a a scary movie now, well, they didn't make scary fucked. movie five. They should reboot it. Let's see with Regina Hall. I just want to see Regina Hall be funny as fuck like that again, cause she was od funny. Like I just go watch Brenda moments. She was the funniest out of everybody in the whole thing. I don't recognize any of these people. It's like. This is like Snoop with a beard. This is like Kevin Hart. Oh, Kevin Hart's in there. Snoop's in there. This is Anthony, like Charlie An- Sheen. Anthony, Anthony. Uh, Anderson. Anderson, he's in there. And uh, Mac Miller's in there. And uh, I don't remember who else is in there. Uh, distributed by the Weinstein Company, though. Ooh. Can't watch that shit. Ooh. See, Scary Movie 5 is Paranormal Activity, Black Swan, Mama, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Other films parody are Sinister, Inception, Ted, Evil Dead, The Cabin in the Woods, Insidious, The Day the Earth Stood Still, and The Help. Oh, man, the I actually watched The Day the Earth Stood Still. Bro, go to the next topic. It also parodies Fifty Shades of Grey and Tyler Perry's character, Medea. What? <laughs> I'm stuck with that shit. I'm stuck with you. Uh, so Puerto Rico has a crime problem. It's just rampant, just rampant like gang crime. I'm not surprised. On the island. So the news story came up in the morning while my dad had the news on. Because my dad is 70 years old and he watches the news every single day, day and night. Uh, And bro, the video they had was like an active shootout. In the middle of the day, right by an airport in like a tour at like a tourist area, like strip center, just niggas just shooting in the street and shit. And it's just like they had all these videos of like security cameras where like one person got murdered at a gas station. The dude just walked into the car, and just blasted. It was it was bro. This shit was looking like fucking narcos, dog. Like yeah. like broad daylight just. Just open, just bare face people shooting and shit. Just Bruh. shooting at people. One was one lady was like, you know, uh, why would people want to come here when uh uh my mother was robbed? My mother was uh robbed at gunpoint, and my husband was attacked by two men walking out of the hotel. And then like uh the police force is like unpaid, like underpaid. And they have to like work overtime, and like people are just quitting left and right and shit. Like the like one dude was like, uh, he would work, and then when he got vacation, he would go like he used his vacation to go to Miami to like work in a a, a warehouse. Just and like one one dude was like uh like a like a like a chief officer, and he just he just left the island to, to go work in Florida. Like he left his whole tooth. no, but he left his whole family in Puerto Rico. He was just like fuck this, I'm out. And he just, <laughs> That's he nigga just, trash. He just left and went to Florida. And then like uh, the lady who was like the former, the former, I guess she was like the head of police or whatever. It was she was like, oh yeah, I don't go outside after six or at night, just at all. And like just to meet up with the news crew, she was like, no, y'all gotta send me uh. uh at least y'all got to see me two armed bodyguards to even do like the interview. Wow, it was like it's, it's that fucked shit up. after the hurricane. Dog. Like it's it's that fucked up. It after was, the hurricane, I bro. was like, God damn, 
Like, wow. Shit, shit still ain't been the same since after the hurricane. That shit is... Because you never used to think of Puerto Rico as a place from... Just dangerous. Yeah. That shit damn near the Columbia in the 80s. 70s. Fuck. Any any decade where, they, where Pablo Escobar was alive. Let me see. Pablo. What was Pablo? Uh, he the Cali died, Cartel. He died in 93. So, yeah, yeah 80s. Right, 80s, right. 80s, yeah. Let me see. That's when Scarface came out. It was like 80 something. First smuggling route. <laughs> right, right, dude. Yeah, yo. yeah, that shit was just. It was like, yeah. God, Lee. Like. <laughs> Run, run, duty, yeah, yo. And I was, I was thinking like, dog, you know, I'm just waiting for my thing about Puerto is like, you know, maybe they just don't have, you know, they haven't recovered their infrastructure as far as no. like power and water and shit. But it's like, no. goddamn, you can't even go to the tourist areas and niggas is fucking clapping each other yeah. in the street in the damn tour by the airport it's like hell <laughs> not going to Puerto Rico <laughs> not going to Puerto Rico for a while not going to Puerto Rico like the people on the police is just like nah fuck this I'm gonna, I mean when the police officers say I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather go, go be to... a fucking warehouse manager in a, not even a manager just like, like, worker, like I'm using my my vacation time <laughs> that I that I banked up <laughs> to go work somewhere else it's like yeah this is Nigga. It's something very wrong. You imagine this nigga try to try to like you do some wild and nigga snatch back to his cop days and tries to arrest you in the full fucking full warehouse uniform. Nigga, nah, he get away from me. Nah, he <laughs> wouldn't do that. He probably just like <laughs> call the police on you. Nah, he probably just like uh fucking uh just like uh do some like fucking judo and just like flip you on your back and shit. <laughs> you looking up like <laughs> what? <laughs> what's going on <laughs> why what's wrong with you man oh uh, you're under arrest no he's uh, not gonna try to arrest you he's just gonna be like <laughs> he's just gonna knock you out he's just be like shit <laughs> well can't work here no more <laughs> just work at a different <laughs> warehouse at a different warehouse um he'd be God. like oh i can't come back to this warehouse anymore that's sad because fucking puerto rico is a beautiful place but they just like i said their infrastructure was trash before the hurricane and after the hurricane during the hurricane didn't make it no better then afterwards you know damn they had to fight the government to help them yeah, they shit. pretty much had to fight the government yeah, yeah that shit was it was just yeah, and it's just not gonna be story. better fucking terrible circumstances breeze gangs like why yeah. people know that shit they've been knowing that shit so you I know had, what I wanna know what? why where the fuck is all these niggas who, was, who be waiting for the government to shut down where is all the white people at who be out in the Midwest somewhere in little compounds training to fight the government? Where are them niggas at? Well, they're not getting paid. <laughs> they're, not getting they're not getting paid. Getting paid. So they, they don't want to fight the government? <laughs> well, see, they're, they're, the prepper mentality is like if shit goes down. Yeah. Not for a government shutdown. It's their their idea is like... like if it's like the the zombie apocalypse idea where it's like everybody just goes crazy. Yeah. And everybody's just like, you know, looting and grabbing guns and trying to attack other people and shit. That's that's like the prepper the prepper idea. Mm. Or almost almost fantasy. <laughs> Damn near uh, fantasy. And shit. Oh absolutely a fantasy. Pretty much. Um you just, you like uh, like the don't... government a government shutdown is not is not part it's of technically still a partial. Well, the part the partial part is the people who showed up to work <laughs> with no, for no pay and shit. That's the part. Motherfuckers is quitting their jobs, bro. It's it's been twenty something days. This, this is what like day twenty four, bro. The longest shutdown in history, bro. You talking about TSA agents? I was gonna apply to be a TSA agent too, bro. A couple of months ago. Well, you wouldn't be getting. <laughs> I <paid> wouldn't out. be working. <laughs> I I was talking to some people yesterday. And, uh, somebody had heard that they were trying to get a bill passed to like get the people back pay and shit. But who? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, I think they got. I, I have no faith in that. Nah, definitely not. They'd be like, "Well, you, you serve this great country, nigga." I'm two months behind on my rent. <laughs> Talk like, about you got to dip into your savings. How you gonna tell a nigga to come back to work after you told a nigga? Basically, also ruin the people, your life. The people who make that decision are still being paid. That's bro, the thing. That's what I'm telling you, bro. If we just the government shut down, just just restart. Start kicking niggas out of their chairs. Taking niggas. Hey, look, we taking this this seized property of the, gov- of the pu- public of the United States of America. We taking you out of your office and your home. We don't need you no more. 
Look, if we can call in to vote for niggas on on singing competitions, we can call in and vote for some goddamn bills now. Mm. Just turning into an event. Oh, bro, you ready for you ready for a vote night, nigga? Ah, yeah, bro. Proposition thirty seven, free bitches for everybody. I'm with that. No, I'm just playing, baby. <laughs> I cannot fully endorse this at all. Uh, I have this okay. episode is brought to you by Proposition Thirty Seven. Free bitches for everybody. You trying to become a you trying to become a sovereign citizen? These, like these, I'm a sovereign citizen. I do not pay taxes. Uh, so I have joking. a couple questions. Yes. That I want your opinion on. First of all, why do women and ladies? Wear like jackets and sweaters where like one shoulder is just hanging off. Not like a sw- not like a, a sweatshirt was specifically made to have one shoulder out. Like which the I 80s al- shit. Which I already don't get, but it's like they're wearing an actual jacket, but they'll just wear it hanging off their shoulders. It's like why would why what's what's the purpose of that? Cause fashion, nigga. That's the name of this title. This episode is called Cuts Fashion, nigga. Duh, nigga. Women don't have no logic behind the shit they do, bro. They just do it's it because like, of fashion, If you wear a jacket, nigga. just put it like. If I did that, it's like why? I ain't come out here for the cold, I, bro. Why am I ace? Why am I wearing my jacket asymmetrically? Like she ain't come out here for the cold, bro. She came out here to stun on bitches. I don't understand. That's it. what she came out here for. She came. You gotta see her and these shoulders. You gonna get the shoulder game today, bro. It don't matter what the weather is, bro. I don't get it. Also, <laughs> also um, off the shoulder, why, off the shoulders in, nigga. Also, why do black women love black vans? Like the black vans, uh, where it's like the shoes black, but I think the shoelaces are white. I've seen like at least five people between like real life and like Tumblr. Maybe because they feet are vans. flat. Women's feet are naturally flat. I think. Ain't that what? Ain't that what it is? See. A lot of women have flat feet. I don't know about that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making shit up. You definitely should get the <laughs> these. Hold on. <laughs> My girl loves her a good pair, of, good pair of chucks. Like why, why, why do people love this? I, I, those are ugliest vans to me. I'm a more of a, I'm more of a solid color. Why van. do Why do the shorties love this pair of I'm vans? I'm more of a solid color. I've seen van. so many, just mm. a number. I, just, I don't get it. Is it because it go with everything? You can because, wear it with pretty it, much. Is anything. it because they're sub one hundred? Is it because they're less than a hundred dollars? Keep it a buck. If I see if I see a shorty wearing one of those, I know she's too young for me. Ain't no grown women wearing no vans like that. Yeah, there are. Ain't no grown women like wearing. No <laughs> yeah, there vans. are. I've seen it. If on she Tumblr. if she wearing vans like that, she a, she a it, school teacher. I've seen it on. <laughs> she a school teacher. She a school teacher who wear a sweater down. <laughs> wear her, her sweater jacket down past the motherfucking <laughs> Bro, I've seen her it. shoulders. I've seen I want one of them coats, dog. Adult, adult, mo- adult motherfuckers, but they're wearing these bands. But I don't understand why. Why is that a thing? Like, I don't know. How do, it probably just go with every develop. goddamn thing. You can, you can wear. You know, women love patterns and shit. So you can. She can wear it with a pink shirt, a yellow shirt, a blue shirt. It don't matter. I just don't get it. It's just you know, one of those things that all women have, bro. I don't understand. I want. I want to know where they get them long ass sweater jackets from. Like it'd be a sweater, it'd be like cloth and shit, but the shit go all the way down to their feet. You ever seen them joints? It, it almost looks like a cloth trench coat. You never seen one of them joints? I'm gonna have to say no. I want one of them hoes. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, sweaters is like. It's, it's like a sweater, but, but it's long as shit. But sweaters is like the bi- the business cash staple. True. So it's like you can get they that. They do love. She only wears can, it to work. You can get that dealers, uh, dealers, J C Penny. Hmm. What's another? What's another mall? Big department store. Fucking Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant. All that good shit. For that shit. All those kind of stores. Like any any place or fashion line that has like business cash kind of kind of thing. Like pencil skirts is is a staple. See, uh, I ain't I ain't even all putting up blouses is a staple. I ain't even all into that like corporate life and shit. The thing is, like I'm retail women, for real, for real. Women's business casual is way uh I I don't know to my, in my perspective is way simpler because they can get away with a lot more and a lot more comfortable looks. Like they can basically wear a blouse. That's pretty much a t-shirt, just a t-shirt, but it's just it doesn't have like the t-shirt sleeves, 
And it's like, you know, you good with that? Just wear what wear your comfortable pants, comfortable or, pants. or a simple skirt. And some and, shoes. And some flats. And you good. Them bunch up shoes. <laughs> the mug to roll the fuck up and shit if they wear them too long. No. <laughs> and just some flats. And you good. Flats. Oh, oh it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's less than 80 degrees. Bam. Sweater. Sweater. Good. <laughs> sweater with the work shirt on. Oh, it's less than 60 degrees. Bam. Peacoat. Peacoat. Like, with the just, work shirt on. It's like they looks be so simple and shit. Don't like, let them. I be like, damn, y'all got these or they just like a dress that comes to their knee, yeah, or right above the knee, and yeah. just a sweater. It's like, bam, you you dress for good the day, to go for the fucking day. It's like, god damn, I got a fucking uh, fine. I got, I got to steam my shirt. <laughs> I got a tie tie. I got to fucking make sure I have on. I make sure I pick the shoes you gotta that, have, that are comfortable with the socks that I've chosen this you, year. You got to have the special underwear to go right with the, with the pants that you wear today. You can't have the ones that you like to wear. You got to have the special ones that chafe up and ride up on you. No, you, you got to have shit. the specific ones that don't ride up. Oh, you can't shit. just you can't just wear regular. Yeah. You have to make sure you buy the ones that are engineered. The, the, yeah, the straight and shit. The, the strong ones. I hate wearing. I hate having the spandex to wear, ones. I hate having to wear slacks for a whole day. Because first of all, I spent all that time trying to steam them and shit to make sure they don't wrinkle, and then I proceed to wrinkle Wrinkles. them for ten hours at a time. It's like why? Yeah, you gotta hang them up and do it all again the next day. Yeah, and like in another week and a half, when I'm wearing the slacks again, it's like, well, now nah, I gotta fucking iron them again. <laughs> oh man. Oh well, I want that life. Just I be complaining that. about nothing. Yeah. Uh, have you ever had a dream that you had to go back to school, like high school? No, I haven't had one. I had a dream that somehow, like, two of my classes didn't count in high school, <laughs> and I had to go back to high school at twenty eight, at twenty seven. Yeah, but this was one of those dreams where it went on way too long. <laughs> oh my god, that shit was so. Uh... It was so like nerve wracking and annoying <laughs> and I had to like show up show up to that bitch at like six at like at six forty five and get then wait the in li- and then wait in line to get breakfast and shit. Instead of just and being a grown man and just get get breakfast whatever you felt like or eat whatever you felt like and, and shit. then I had to like uh like the lunchroom was crowded, so I had to just stand and wait for the first bell and shit. And then I That's was too funny. Then I was trying to like I was trying to figure out the nomenclature of the hallways to figure out where the fuck my class was at. Then I was trying to figure out where the fuck my locker was at. And then I was like <laughs> did you, did you, what point did you realize it was a dream? Like this is no, real it was elaborate. way later. <laughs> it was so much later. It's too I'm telling you, this whole went on way too long. And then I I never went to a class. It was like I spent the whole day trying to figure out where shit was at, and then like like a girl would walk up to me and be like, "Oh, what's your name?" I'm like, "No, no. you can't talk. To me. <laughs> you can't I'm talk gonna... to me. No, you can't talk to me. And then I'm, I'm like, just trying to help you with no, no, just get away, just from get me. away from me. <laughs> and then like uh trying to and then like I'm just I'm wandering around because I don't know where the sh- where the hell shit at. And then like a bell will ring and then everybody floods into oh. the hallways. So I'm trying to figure out like what the hell's going on. This and nigga had a freshman to, high school freshman dream. How to maneuver <laughs> and shit. And then everybody goes to class and I'm just trying to figure out how. This I can nigga just... still ain't been to class. <laughs> no, I didn't go to class the whole dream, but I was at the school like for, just walk like, around the whole day. But it was like the whole day in real time and shit. And then I was like. I'm trying to like figure out what stairwell I could go to to sneak out to school and not be seen and shit. And it's like, oh, it got to the end of the day, and it's like, okay, there's the bus ramp, but then there's the uh, the student parking lot, and so I'm like, oh shit, I don't have a parking pass because I didn't pay for one. So I'm trying to figure out how I can like take the bus home and then like get a ride back to the school to get my car. Or like get my car. It didn't make sense. sense. It that didn't make, make any sense. sense. <laughs> it didn't make sense. And then it was like instead of a car, like an actual car, it was like a fucking Mario Kart go kart <laughs> and shit. They got a T Rex. <laughs> and, and then I fucking took that hoe and went to like a strip mall to go to Whataburger. And then it ended. I was and then I woke up. I was like, why did that give me so much anxiety? <laughs> Like this, nigga had a, this nigga had a middle school freshman freshman dream. This had me all messed up. Oh man, that uh, was like it was such a strong dream. It had me so fucked up. And I I woke up. I was like, 
damn, like, how long was I in that shit? Like, I was in that hole deep as shit. Like, I went through a whole day of just weird shit. <laughs> just weird, weird shit that makes no sense for someone being in high school. <laughs> to go through. <laughs> let me let me talk. Not to you. only by the fact that I've not only graduated high, high school, school and college, <laughs> now near. I have to go back to high school because I'm missing two credits or some shit. Damn near ten years ago. <laughs> not even like oh you graduated yesterday. That shit made no sense. It Niggas was so is ten years old now. It was so weird and stupid. Oh man. I could even like I could even like get lucid out of it, but like no, this is a dream. This is stupid. Like I just went through that hole and got all the way home and then woke up in my bed. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> Let me find out. You 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 went back in time. Or you you was on an alternate dimension or some weird ass shit. Oh no, this shit was stupid. That was just, <laughs> There's, there's dreams where it's just like okay this is weird and trippy and then it's just like what the fuck what the fuck was that what? why why oh why that's not even an uncommon dream like there's people who <laughs> that's really <laughs> there's people who have that shit I mean not not in mind where they don't you go drove, through the whole goddamn day and, yeah and, or walk in the you, halls or where you drove a Mario Kart go kart to that hole and then was trying <laughs> to scheme on how to get that hole around by the bus stop or you got shit. me when you talking about I had got a parking pass so. <laughs> I, I need to go take the bus home and come back and get, get in my car. car. That would like, woke me up. Like that don't make no goddamn sense. No, I would <laughs> what all does the parking pass have to do with me leaving. With all the bro, I even and then the strip mall was like down this like back country road that that had like no lights. So it was like it was like old Highway 6. Remember old Highway 6 where that hall was just pitch black and just yeah. too late? It was like that. That shit was like four miles down, just a dark road like that. And then you make a, a right, like you're going into like somebody's like 7,000 7, acre farm. And then it was like the strip mall next to a Walmart. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> None of this shit makes sense. It's just, oh my god! Nah, I would tree road. That shit was so. That was the stupidest. Take me ever. home. <laughs> so dumb. Oh man! That was, it went on forever. I was like, <laughs> woke up. I was like, how the fuck? <laughs> I was just confused for like an hour. <laughs> just sitting. Just in, questioning your life and just shit. Sit, just sitting in the dark at like five a.m. Like what sweating, the, hyperventilating. Just like what the fuck was all that? Checking your ID to make sure you are twenty seven, and in fact, don't have to get up for school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for work emails and shit. Checking my payroll. <laughs> Checking my payroll and schedule. Like, <laughs> Checking my payroll and schedule and shit. Why? Why? <laughs> why? I had a dream like that. I had a dream. I woke up. I thought I had to go to. Well, I woke up and thought I had to go to school one day. I was like, "Nigga, you a whole twenty five. <laughs> you a whole twenty five. Yeah. I do that shit sometimes for work when I be off and shit. And I and wake it, up, and be nervous. And I, it'd be like four. It'd be like it'd be like eleven in the in 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 the morning. And I'd be like, "Oh fuck, I'm late as shit for work." And I'd be like, "Ah, oh, nigga, you off." <laughs> At least you didn't have to go back to high school yeah. to redo a credit. Uh, Thank God. You know what I always find funny is when like uh, people who are like Muslim or are part of the LGBTQ community <laughs> and like Mike Pence has to interact with them in, <laughs> in a way that he can't get out of it. I'm like when he has to swear in people to like Congress and shit, and she's and like the person is like openly gay <laughs> and got voted, and it's like, "What's good, Mike Pence? <laughs> What's up, nigga?" <laughs> My piss is a fucking Terminator, dog. I'm telling you. That it, nigga's a ter- that always, nigga's a poster child for a repressed gay man. It's always funny to me when he has to like interact with them. And it's like you know he was upset. Like yeah. he was just like just just staring daggers. I wish I <laughs> Like, I want to be one of those people where Mike Pence has to, like, forcibly what interact with What does Mike Pence do? And he can't get out of it, but I, I'd be like, what's... <laughs> I'd grab him by his head. Well, what's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? What's up, Pence, nigga? Let's get this photo out, nigga. Motherfucker. <laughs> Let's get Smile, nigga. Out. And then I'll put him in the head. Like, <laughs> Look at that, nigga. Yeah, 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 nigga. Yeah, yeah, Mike. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, Mike Penis. That nigga called you a penis, you lame-ass nigga with your white-ass hair, nigga. <laughs> Or it's like, or it's like, hey, get a photo with Mike Pence. And I just punch him in the throat. <laughs> nut, nut tap him as ah, ah, was good, Mike. nigga. <laughs> Take this photo, punch him in the chest, tap him. Stand up, nigga. What you doing? Stand up, stand up Smile, straight. motherfucker. Stand up straight. Act like you've been punched in the throat before. <laughs> hey, hey, Mike, what's this? 
Ah, that's two, nigga. <laughs> that's two more for flinching, nigga. All right, bitch. <laughs> that nigga so useless. Biden was all around and shit in the news doing shit. Yeah. What is Mike Pence doing? Mike Pence is, Mike Pence is literally just, just enjoying just, a ride. Just make every. You know what the thing is? Is that Trump doing shit is just like taking He's all of the spotlight He's, off of Pence. He like, doesn't have to do shit. Bro, he just chilling. He like, yo. Yeah, uh, goddamn! I hope they don't. I don't hope they don't fucking get rid of this nigga before his term is over. Because I mean, I'm gonna have to actually be president. He, he's like Dick. He's like Dick Cheney for when we were in middle school, where no. you didn't even no, where we just didn't know that Dick Cheney did shit. We just thought it was all Bush. Yeah, and yeah, people yeah. making fun of Bush, but it's like, oh no, Dick Cheney was doing. He's yeah, like Dick, Dick Cheney was a mastermind. Yeah, Dick Cheney was doing. Dick a Cheney whole is whole definitely Bush's dad's friend. <laughs> Bush's da- Bush's dad's friend who got helped get him elected. You know who we should put Bush Junior. You know who we should put as your vice president. Who dad? Dick Cheney. Oh, Uncle Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Dick Chain is going to be my vice president, Dad. Yeah. Bush is just under siege for like eight years. <laughs> He's just watching them like, keep an eye on my boy now. I, I got Bush, you, Bush. <laughs> Bush is just under siege for eight, <laughs> eight years. Like, he, can't, he can't make no decision. He's just a hostage. <laughs> oh, man. I want to go get some ice cream, Mr. Uncle Chain. Nah, Bush. You have to, you have um, to write that. You're going was, to attack what Afghanistan. Was that, what was that Family Guy gag where it's like Hurricane Katrina? And he was like in a uh, in a tree. <laughs> he's in a tree house. And Brian was like, "Wow, mi- millions of people are suffering." It's like, go away, go away, <laughs> go away. I'm not go here. Away. Uncle Dick. They had a one where he was a she was a fucking. You know, I forgot what it was. He's like Uncle Dick, Uncle Dick, and Dick Cheney picked him up and spun him around and shit. <laughs> did, you, did you bring me a lollipop, Uncle Dick? Ah, uh, here it go. Oh yeah, oh, Uncle man. Dick Cheney. Oh man! Who's, who's, uh, uh, I've bro, to have my, you uh, seen? Have you seen the video of Young Jock burning his ear with a flat iron? That shit is hilarious. <laughs> that shit is fucking hilarious. That nigga look like a that look like a Korean pop star. Oh bro. my god, bro! I was at work. <laughs> I was at I work, do? and I saw that on Twitter uh, when I was on break, and I I was laughing out loud. That nigga like said, I couldn't even giggle. <laughs> He was trying to cup his hands. That shit don't even work. <laughs> That's not how breath works, you ignorant nigga. The nigga oh. said, oh, yeah, I, I've spent so much time flattening out in my hair. And it's and burning. Sh- <laughs> ah, shit. Because <laughs> it, it was you couldn't even stage that. Stupid like, he shit. really burned his ear. Stupid like, he didn't shit. know what he was doing, and he burned his <laughs> Why this nigga got all the auntie fucking haircuts? What is going on? I... I kind of like the blue joint. I like it less because of the hairstyle, but more because you never see niggas trying weird shit like that. Yeah, you, you look kind of like an in, anime in character. In like 2012, just people started fucking niggas just started getting perms and shit and having straight hair, just looking stupid. True, true. It looks stupid. He could just he could easily just get a haircut, and just have regular hair. But it, like but, you never but, see him rocking the auntie. Mike, my, my nigga had definitely had a Mary J. Blige style from the. From the early two thousand. Did he <laughs> did he wear a dress to like an awards or something? Oh, uh, that was a or bet. Some shit, and he he lost, he a, lost bet. a bet and he had to do it's that. It's like, shit. bro, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> he lost a bet. You could just not do that. I would rather him say, okay, I lost a bet. Then yeah, I'm just gonna wear it to make a statement. No, he could just not do that. This is very. This nigga looks like an anime character with that swoop to the side and shit. Yeah, he could. Bro, like this, it's not like his hairline is just like super far back. Like, nah. bro, you can just have regular hair. You just have regular. He has good hair. He's just ruining that shit, though. He's just doing. Just... Maybe his hair's strong. I don't fucking know. But nah. that swoop to the side. It wasn't even like, oh, it was just like one little piece. It's like a thick ass mop. Just. But it's not even that long. Yeah, just. Bro, have you seen uh have you seen what Nick Cannon looks like now? Why does Nick Cannon look like what what, what is this man's decision making? I don't know. Nick bro. Cannon look Maybe he got a role coming up. He look he look like um he looked like uh like a a late eighties pimp. Where it's like but he's like like he's like fifty, so like his hairline's kinda Pushing back, and the Jerry curl is not is not too is not uh the optimum level of moisture. No, it look it look definitely look dry. Like Nick, can you need to just shake. like he picked his shit so much it just fell, and he just kept picking it out. No, it looked like he had a Jerry curl, and then he just stopped taking care of it. Bruh, in that suit, 
that suit he had on was kind of baggy. I was like, nigga, are you are you going out for a roll? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you what the fuck are you doing, Nick Cannon? You look you little nigga look like he was he was a old ass old yeah, ass. Bro, look at this shit. Bruh, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Like, is he going? I feel like he, he has to be going out for bro, a roll. Look at look at this. Oh, he look like W E. He hurt on the inside. <laughs> look like W W E D fiasco. See, look, he could just look. This looks perfectly fine, Bruh. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even have. I wouldn't even blink twice if I saw <laughs> this Nick Cannon. On TV right now, it's like, oh man, Mariah makes niggas crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they leave Mariah, and they just don't be right since. This made him lose it, bro. I'm just telling you, dog. Strangest. That nigga look weird, bro. He look like he look like he, like them old ass TV shows where they had like scary movies on, and they'd bring the host up, and it'd be like some weird looking ass nigga. That's what you look like to me. I don't know what's with people in these hair choices. These bruh. Days. It's like, bro, y'all got to chill. He could have just braided it back up. Like, went back to the early 2000s, Nick Cannon. Or just, with, or just. With the straight backs. Or just cut it. Or just cut it. Just cut it. <laughs> just have a mini fro. Mini fro's are great. That's what I'm going to do if I. If, 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 once I get to a five head, it's just mini fro. <laughs> That's it. That's what you're going to do. It's just mini fro for life. You're just going to have me a tapered mini fro. You're not going to be one of them niggas to go get. Uh... The, Bro, I uh, see. So I seen this dude at the gym. At the gym, this dude has like. First of all, he's on like five four. This dude has like a seven head. Like his <laughs> shit, his shit is a crispy. At that point, a nigga, crispy it's edge up sack. way back here. <laughs> it's like, bro, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it you go. You need to let that go. Let you it go. go. You can't even see your edge up over your head. <laughs> it's crispy edge up like halfway uh, back. Like, bro, you know. My shit's still holding strong for right nah. now. But I thank the Lord for that. I don't know what's wrong. With plus, you. I don't get that many haircuts. So my shit, I ain't got too many niggas pushing my shit back, back and back and shit. But fuck. Fuck. At least you got a beard to fall back on. Like nine. if you just cut it all off, you have the beard. No, nah, I would not ever. Just wear hats. Would not ever. You gonna be one of the hat niggas? Can't be one of them naked face niggas. So. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like you just cut cut I mean, the hairline off and just rock the beard, nigga. I. That's I, the black man staple. I mean, I kind of want to just wear more hats now, but just like like Astros caps. That's why Astros, Yankees, or Yankees, Astros, Rockets. Yeah. Fucking, I I, I refuse to wear. <laughs> NFL teams on my head. I don't know why. I just I don't want to do that. I I don't know why. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, Nick Cannon wild and I here, dog. Uh, his his decision making. That's worse strange. than that picture of of uh, John Wall. Like damn, John Wall. What did he do? You know, remember that picture of preseason with John Wall. Well, that's because he's been like hitting the clubs and shit. So yeah. he probably had like fucking. The nigga was looking. <laughs> the nigga yeah, he was looking rough. He was looking greasy and shit. Nigga was looking fresh. Uh, like he had just got off parole. <laughs> like just got done seeing his parole officer. He was like greasy and shit. I think he was just enjoying his summer. But unfortunately, a thing that's been that John Wall's been doing is like starting the season out of shape and playing himself in shape. <laughs> that's, but that's what Chris Paul does. Like that's he, a real he nigga. He plays himself into shape. But the only thing is, like playing yourself into shape means you're not in shape while you're really trying to play hard. So then yeah. you're like fucking. You do stupid shit like roll your fucking hamstring all the way up to your goddamn. Hip like you and shit, you fucking get strains all the time and ruin and the fucking season, dickhead. And John Wall already has a bunch of uh leg injuries and surgeries. That nigga just doubled. What the fuck? Yeah, he already has a bunch of leg injuries and surgeries. Now he just had uh yeah, he just had a season of surgery. surgery yeah, it's like bro, see, you gotta just start in shape so then you don't get hurt. Hey, where you might like. Just be tired, but it's like you gotta show up in shape. Mm-hmm. Especially the older you get, nigga, you can't just yeah. you can't just start and stop and shit. You ain't Shaq, <laughs> Shaq, big ass out there playing out of shape, fifty pounds out of shape and shit. Mm. 
when it threw when it ring stuff. Out of shape as fuck, still getting that yeah, ring. Just, <laughs> Nigga in the night with 40 and, and, and 12 40. assists and 8 blocks or some stupid shit. Yeah, but he's just like so large and dominant. It's like people just, just throwing people yeah. out the way. This nigga just getting in the post and putting it up and then slowly jogging back up to fucking court. <laughs> Uh, I feel like the the more accolades you have in the league, the less niggas, the more niggas try to hold your hand through shit. Well, a lot of people just get the money and be like, like whatever. Everybody don't have, everybody don't have like the uh like the insane person drive. Like uh, I've been listening to uh Michael Jordan's book, and it's like he just loved practice, like. It was even. I would love shit on my teammates too. He was he one he just, he loved being at practice, and two he just didn't. Uh, he was like, he was like obsessively, not obsessively. That's more cool. But he he just wanted to, he just wanted to hoop all the time. That was like Michael Jordan. He just loved hooping. So like like even when he got hurt his second season, he was only like. Three weeks out, and he was like, "You know what? I'm gonna go to North Carolina." It was like, "Okay, you go to North Carolina to do your rehab." It was like, uh, he wasn't supposed to. He he on he didn't tell nobody. He was, but like one person, he's like, "You know what? I gotta just play on it and uh, you know, figure out how it feels." And they were like, <laughs> "Dude was like, no, you probably shouldn't be doing that." <laughs> he's we like, gonna tell Michael Jordan, no, you can't was, do it. He was like, "No, I'm gonna go hoop and then see how it feels." It's like, bro, like, no, <laughs> like don't. The doc- don't. <laughs> There was there was like we we had three doctors come tell him that he definitely should not be playing on his broken foot. No, I'm just gonna go play on it and see I'm, how it feels. I'm, I'm gonna test it. I'm, I'm gonna take it. For I'm, a look, drive. I'm playing against the college team. We're like, no, Michael, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, Mike. Do, do not do coaches, that. Coach, coach, she's Michael. Hey, Mike. Hey, yeah. Tell your best lineup to uh, let me get the top five and against the your weakest five. We're gonna go. We're gonna play up against. It. We're gonna play a game. Uh, okay, well, the Bulls head coach called ahead and said that you might be trying to play, so he told me not to let you in no. to the court. Mike, Mike. No, I'm just going to play on it and see how it feels. It's like, <laughs> come on, dog. Like, come on, dog. Yeah, come on, Mike. Stop. But like, not everybody, not everybody wants to be dead. Some people let success kind of like. I mean, but if I let. if I Success, like, success, uh, uh, what you call it, like. Can't think of the right way to say it, but it's like the more success they get, the less their drive to go. True, but honestly, if I'm Michael Jordan and I defeated the odds by becoming six six, even though everybody else around my fam family's barely in the sixes, I'd I'd want to play on it and see how it feels too. <laughs> I would have like I've already beaten the odds this point. I think I can try it again. <laughs> no, I I'd have sat with a broken foot, I'd have sat my ass down and not aggravated it. I mean he looked out because he never really was like he never really had injuries after that that were like that were side, manageable. Well that sidelined them like yeah. cause you know it's, NBA players are always playing hurt in some way. Shit, NFL being, players too. And being nicked and shit, but it wasn't like, oh, broken foot, you can't play. But uh, fucking torn this, torn that, you can't play. It's like, you know, he was still playing. Yeah. And Just don't let a nigga hit that side. <laughs> That's how NFL, NFL players be like, oh, you got torn something, you got to sit out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Football, basketball players, uh, we'll you got a torn quad. We'll, we'll Just don't see, let them hit that the side. The difference is that NFL players, like the the amount of their money guaranteed is different, mm-hmm. and then like <clears throat> you only get paid for the the weeks of the season that and you play. shit. Yeah. So it's like you only get sixteen checks, and that's if you play all of them, and that's if your money is guaranteed for that season and shit. I wonder how our boy feel down the season. Over with for Pittsburgh, and he only got one check. Who, uh, Le'Veon? Yeah. No, he, he didn't get paid. He did get paid. He got one check. He showed up for the bye week. You get paid during the bye week. And you ain't got to show up for no game. All you got to do is show up to the facility. And you get paid. I don't think he showed up. <laughs> yeah, he, he got paid. He showed up for the, for the bye week. Let's see. Get he told him he was gonna show up for the bye week. Bill, get paid at all. Uh, 
These are all from 2018. It also says, his, uh, his article, Le'Veon Bell has forfeited more salary than any running back will make in 2018. Yeah. <laughs> Highest paid running back ever. Uh, Highest paid running back of the season. Nigga said, nah, that wasn't enough, coach. Oh, well, I don't care. Uh, I don't either. I, don't, I stopped giving a fuck about football a long time ago. I just don't care about Levy out there. That's the, I mean, that story was entertaining for, it was this, for the season. <laughs> for like, just was for like everybody back. everybody complaining about it. And everybody <laughs> like, like nobody knew <laughs> what the actual CBA said until uh, after after the like deadline week <laughs> and it was like oh no he just doesn't have to show up at all which yeah. he's not going to do yeah no nah. like, we need you to come back no nah, i'm not going to come back lady on you going to come back this week no nah, i don't think i'm going to come back this week coach how about this week no nah, i don't think i'm going to come back are we going to expect you this whole season i mean they mm-hmm. paid me the money that they no you know he's like mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like don't give good news coach i'm coming in this week this Le- is the bye week. Le'Veon responded to questions like, "I was like, show." Say some, some. some are you are you comes? Nonsensical show? shit like you know. Sometimes you know birds come together when they need to. <laughs> like, what the a- fuck are you talking? <laughs> hey, it's, look, it's like, it's Eddie like, Polar Bear got his own little ice sack. No, <laughs> <laughs> like if you shoot one hog, they will run. But if you shoot two hogs. How many run? It's like what nigga? What the fuck? <laughs> Some nigga in the back understands him. That's deep, bro. That's deep, bro. I feel you, bro. S- somebody, somebody <laughs> born, somebody born and raised in Alabama who went to Alabama and shit. Be like, oh. ah, that nigga speaking that old truth, huh? That's the Old Testament right there, bro. I fuck with that, bro. For real, for real, bro. Hey, you feel me, my nigga? Sometimes, sometimes dogs howl at the moon. Sometimes they howl at the ho- at the yard, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, bro. Be like. Yeah, <laughs> like, bro. He's like, Le'Veon, how do you feel about your teammates, you know, talking negative about you in the news? He's like, hey, sometimes the dog sometimes the dog barks at the cat, sometimes the dog bark at the doorbell. <laughs> like, what? Oh, yeah, bro. You <laughs> right about that, bro. You feel it's, me? It's like, I, I was telling my old lady that like a couple like, weeks what, ago, nigga? bro. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, bro. You feel me? Hey, bro, stay down, though, bro, from the mud, you feel me? Who was this man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my name is Alex from uh, Alabama Times. <laughs> be like, uh, be like, the cat catches the bird, but where does it be like? What does the bird catch? Is it, no, is it, the cat catches the bird, but does he eat the worm? <laughs> it's like, what? This is brought to you by a uh, quote book uh, by Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Quotes by Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> Such great quotes like... He's like, tectonic plates can shift, <laughs> but what does the earthquake do to the plates? It's like, what? what? What the fuck are you talking about? I literally just asked you, do you plan on coming back in week eight? Critics have said this book is deep, but not... <laughs> One, one. Look, they be like, <laughs> hey, hey, Le'Veon, uh, are they, what team, you know, the season's over, what teams are you looking at and maybe trying to sign? It's like, man who, man with hand in pocket feels lucky all day. It's like, what? <laughs> what? That, that is not an answer <laughs> at all. Ah, <laughs> oh, bro, that's a good look for you, bro. <laughs> that's a good look for you, my nigga. I feel you on like, that, bro. You putting that's them, a, and you putting them over the top. Yeah, bro, that's a good one. Y'all ain't catch that? What did he say? Bro, you got to listen. Y'all ain't listening, bro. That's how niggas be. Y'all, y'all ain't listening, bro. Y'all got to listen, bro. <laughs> say it again. I said, sometimes a man with his hand in his pocket feel lucky all day. No, he don't even, he don't even say the same thing again. He's like, <laughs> he he's like, like, he's like, he's like, he's different. No, he says, when you turn off the television, is it no longer watching you? Like, bro, goddamn, bro, damn, bro, y'all, y'all, bro. This man giving y'all all the information. He just, he's just saying fucking uh, Jaden Smith quotes <laughs> and shit. And it's like three people was like, oh yeah, he's speaking that truth. He's speaking that truth. Yeah, he's like literally yeah, not nigga. saying it. Anything. It's only Alabama niggas. Oh yeah, nigga. My my granddaddy <laughs> told me that shit a long time ago, bro. I'm telling you, I'm t- I don't know how Alabama people talk. I just assume it's. He's like, they're so close to Georgia. They talk like niggas from Georgia. 
you, you <laughs> just look at you could just look at random stuff in a room and that's uh, that's what his Ooh. response is it's like if you if you match all the si- all the white size of the rubik's cube isn't considered finished like <laughs> it's like Okay. Uh, See, that's that's a deep quote about he's like, racism. He's like, bro. he's like, I literally just asked you, what do you think about your teammates rating your locker? It's like, <laughs> that's not even a direct resp- bro, response, bro. What he was saying, bro, though, you feel me? You feel me, bro? Like, bro, he deep, deep, bro. <laughs> he he deep, deep, bro. <laughs> when niggas say you two time, he deep, deep, bro. You feel me? Like, it's like, <laughs> it's like Le'Veon, uh, uh, uh. How, what what is your mindset going into the off season after this debacle? It's like if you wear two pairs of socks, are they both dirty? <laughs> Let me on. You coming back to the, to the Pittsburgh eight hours soon? No, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's the only thing he's serious on. Not until they pay me my money. <laughs> Just like, would you take less money to play for? Di- no, no. <laughs> just end. Well, okay. <laughs> they just gets up and leaves. Huh? I ain't understand what he said. What is no? <laughs> Can you repeat the question? Hey, bro, I ain't understand that one. What is no? Then he just gets up and leaves. That's it. He just Do better. Just dips. Oh man, anything else? No. Okay. Why am I culturally insensitive? I was just gonna let that one go. Okay. Just know that you you're are. probably right. <laughs> you definitely right. Just be aware. I that do you have are. my tendencies. I got hiccups now. Uh, if you like what you hear, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave us five stars. Be sure to follow us on on Twitter at Spacey Bros, Facebook at Spacey Bros Podcast, and Instagram at Spacey Brothers. If you want to support us more, think about supporting our Patreon. Um, any else? Mm-mm. We out this bitch. Oh, yeah. This podcast is brought to you by uh that shit, that old cleaning shit that from, like, the early 2000s that was underneath your counter for, like, a long-ass time, and you probably shouldn't use it because it's been there for so long, but it's like, fuck, you ain't got no more motherfucking comment. So, yeah, podcast is brought to you by that shit. I don't know the name of it. You know what it is when you look at it. <laughs> all facts. Look how I run it up. Look how I run it up. Look how I'm coming up. But wish you was one of us. See how that money come. Paper cut fingers from counting that money up. Praying emojis. The blessings keep coming. I know I can't have enough. Never on E. Took off on haters. There's no need to gas me up. I'm patting my lead. I'm too far ahead and there's no way you catching up.